I am now installing this step ladder. This is um, aluminum, uh, anti-slippery. It's very light. It's gonna extend from the passenger side behind the splash guard here all the way to uh, right where the sliding door stops. It's total overall uh, 100 inches, exactly 100 in inches. It's not too difficult, uh, but when you work, when you look at the work instruction, it's kind of confusing, but we figured it out. Uh, but when it comes to install it, it's, it's not difficult at all. All right, so this is how the bracket looks like, like an L shape where the uh, step sits on it. And then there are also uh, brackets that, that um, lock it in place on the back side behind the the um underneath behind the flange here uh there's one nut that goes uh inside the existing pre-drill hole um of the van you just remove the plastic that covers the hole and then you run that nut with the uh uh there's a long yeah you run the bolt there's a kind of long nut that goes inside that hole and locks it in place and you screw it and then this attached to here like that with one bolt here and this is how you see it it comes out to this side and then you will screw you put two screws here and tighten all up it's really tight in place that's all but the, I think the hardest thing is the uh, uh, drilling these holes, but it was easier than I thought when I did the other van was kind of hard and It took longer, but this one it went really quick So here it is That's how it looks like from under the car One more nut ladies and gentlemen and oh. Oh, about 25 to 30 pound torque and we have a beautiful step bumper check that out oh yes looks good on this van good morning it's Bo here back to Vanville today we are installing the uh, awnings this is a 10 feet uh, Thule uh, awning it's a, a roof rack installation roof rack kit uh, you have to buy a separate uh, bracket for the roof rack that fits into your existing uh, Mercedes uh, rail um, we, what we did also if we, sep if we buy a separate this is a uh, one eighth, one eighth by one inch aluminum. There you go, aluminum. Uh, we we just want to reinforce the um, washer. We we make that as a washer. So these kit already come with the screw with a one eighth thickness. So adding another. 1 8 okay now we have we have a uh, uh, 1 fourth inch that still will still fit into the existing rail what it does okay so the three screws this way so this will be in uh, slided into the rail and this is the uh, actually it's facing this way this is where we attach the awning facing the outside of the van and this is uh, to uh, the inner of the roof and then it comes with the uh, nuts that we tie to here 
Uh, you can, ha I, I think, uh, two of these is, is uh, what the uh, uh, recommendation. I think we bought extra, we bought uh, two more just to make sure that it is, uh, it is uh, um, super, super duper uh, strong. So this kit doesn't come with the awning itself. You have to buy it separate. It's a hideaway adapter. Okay. It also uh, has the uh, enclosure, so you don't see this bracket. It's, it's not going to be exposed. Okay. To make these holes, this is what I did. Because this is one inch, you have to drill. These holes have to be exactly on the midpoint uh, in the uh, halfway inch. I'm um, half an inch, half an inch. Otherwise, it will not uh, fit into the channel. So what I did was, here you go. I marked my half inch. This is my half inch right here. Mark that on both sides, and I draw my line first. In line and now you align it with the bracket like that so you can see your 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 line right here in right in the uh, running through these holes okay and then you just mark the center right there okay see my mark here and now I'm going to use the drill press to uh, make the three holes and it's like that Fresh squeezed orange juice. Mm. Then sweet mango. Mm. Well, that was super lunch. Thank you, honey. Back to one bill. Hi. This is how the bracket goes. Okay. Um, on the because we only use th three holes and these are not being used, but we don't want it to uh, scratch the roof, so we're putting um, kind of insulation a piece of this plastic. I, I got this from uh, Home Depot. This is uh, what the garage door seal, so it's, it's weatherproof. Put on this back side here and there's your screw so when you screw it down it will pinch that plastic down so it this is not scraping between the the roof and the, the metal piece and then washer washer and washer Okay, and then we just tie it down. Um, the the awning has uh, four screws uh, that has a channel also 
that you can slide the screw in and when you bring it up you align it to these four screws right here four holes right here and then you just screw from the back that's all it is all right we're gonna we're gonna lift this awning here have to match with the bracket it's a, it's a 50 pound it's a 50 pound awning so what you can do with two two men first we put we insert these screws in these channels uh, ready to go and we just uh, get up there and align them with the bracket holes and then uh, put a nut on the back that simple ready Yeah, I can, I can do it. Have one more and then you hold, hold on to the bracket. Hold on to the bracket. No, I'm fine. Check it out you guys, our cabinet has formed, build it out of 80-20 frame, it's a good size cabinet, 13 inches top to bottom, 12 inches deep, and it's 8 feet long, it looks really nice right now. So what we did was, remember we had these already uh, planted before ready for this and also the top now all we need to do is we have we measure how long we want this one and then how deep we want it so we measure straight line down from here and then uh, straight from here and we just cut all of them at once and then we cut three of these one here one the back and one from the top and we uh, because this is not a 90 degree angle when you uh, because of the uh, wall of the van it's, it's kind of slanted so we loosen the screw these nuts a little bit and then uh, we tie these down and since we have these straight angle after we attach it, we just push it up to uh, against all the four corners like that. Now we have a perfect angle and push that up uh, also up to uh, make the nine degree angle. It doesn't look that bad. Everything's all flushed. Now we need to just go back and tighten these bolts back down and we got ourselves a straight ninety degrees. All right everybody, we're gonna end the day right here. We put the uh, uh the frame's ready to go. We just need to put the uh, front fa uh, face, the door, and the bottom, the sides. But you have an idea how the frame's going to be like. And we just want to see this, the top bed. This is how it looks. It's gonna. This is how it's going to look like. 
So it's pretty cool. Little bit, a little bit tight, yeah, but we want to fit everybody. We fit, gonna fit five. Family of five in here. So looking good so far. We just need to uh, um, do some uh, um, insulation, kind of window cover on that side. And then uh, tomorrow we work on the bottom bed frame. Okay, cool. I like the way things come out today. No issue. So, good day. Oh, I kneeled, I kneeled down on a, on a screw. Ouch. <laughs> okay, alright guys. Today, I am installing the gray water tank. It's a very, it's a small water tank, but I just want to show you guys what I use to do the frame to hold the water tank underneath here uh, because I think it is simple. Uh, this is what I use. Okay, so this is the uh, half inch aluminum extrusion. You see that there's only one uh, slot here okay it's one inch by a half okay so that and this is the uh, one inch aluminum with all the where well, you don't need all four corners slot but um, that's what I'm using so this one I use it to uh, I, I drill a hole right here and I use it for the the size the one that uh, screwed to the the frame and dropping down this way and then this water tank in between and then this one goes across the bottom like this okay and then the connection the fitting for that I'm using this brace with the uh, T-nuts here that okay, let me uh, just do it quick for that will be this way and okay so I would have that insert into channel if I can insert it there you go okay and then another screw same screw this side that will be inserted through here okay I'm gonna show you underneath so you'll see what I'm talking about but yeah that's what I'm using however this is designed for corners you know going this way or the same aluminum goes this way that's why they have this kind of stick out a little bit here so it locks inside of the channel here it doesn't move so if i'm since i'm using it this way i shave off that a little you know so it's not so it stays flash flashed in here if not you can see it's a gap so i'll show you underneath what i'm talking about all right here we go so right here on top let's see there I, there's a hole already uh, on that frame so I put one long uh, bolt across to this side and then just uh, put a nut on this side oops sorry about that okay and then on the bottom here we go that 
corner and this corner now I push it up but I'm using I'm putting this plastic here so it, it doesn't slide sorry about that because it's barking somebody must be at the gate okay yeah so I put that piece of plastic there again I got that from uh, Home Depot it's a they sell it in a roll it's a it's the uh, uh, weather uh, protection for the garage door so that and then you push it up like that now I'm gonna just push up tight and then tighten that screw push up really tight and tighten that screw just a couple of turns and that will be very tight okay so that's how I make the frame for the water tank